hey loves welcome back to my channel it's been a minute i trust you guys have been good because i've been good too well in today's video as the title would have already told you i'm going to be rating some nigeria movies that i have seen since the beginning of this year 2023 um i've actually i, I can't even believe how much like of nigerian movies i've seen this year alone and the funny thing is that like this list i have like it doesn't do justice shot to all the nigerian movies i've seen like there are still so many more but these are the ones like i can remember for some very weird reasons because i don't keep tab i just that's maybe this concern i was like okay let me just think about some movies i've seen and boy over 20 movies over 20 nigerian movies like nah i, I was i was shocked and like if i had to, actually have to like think more i think i would like be i don't even know why i've seen so many nigerian movies this year it's scary but i mean let's just get right into it so the first movie i'm going to rate is brotherhood and i'm going to rate it a 9 over 10 that's because i'm just like the wicked classic child that doesn't give anybody 10 over 10. you know brotherhood was such a lovely movie it was really interesting i mean i don't know why i watched it only this year i'm always like that like i always watch everything late but i was so glad because i watched it in the cinema and if it was not good i would have actually like hated myself so i was really glad that i got to watch brotherhood it was like the storyline was mad everything was mad i'm not the person to spoil movies so i need to let you know that if you came here to get like inside just about the movies i'm going to be rating then um sorry love this is like not the place i'm not going to be a spoiler because i hate spoilers in my life so i'm not going to spoil any movie for you but i'm just going to like tell you how i rate them and if i have to like say one or two things about them i'm going to do that but for brotherhood brotherhood was nine over ten for me it was an amazing movie and i really enjoyed it the second one i'm going to rate. i don't even know if i should if this should be on my list okay so i need to tell you like there's no particular order for this list i'm not like i'm not starting from like my favorite I just i'm just going to list them out like anyhow do you get so the next one is far from home and i don't know if far from home is supposed to be in this list because like i want to just talk about like movies but there is another one i want to talk about and it like it also had parts like far from home so i was just like okay let me just put far from home here too so far from home i'm giving it eight over ten just because like yeah yeah i also like the storyline i also watched that one very late when everybody had like finished talking about it because i don't like to watch things when people are still watching it <laughs> So yeah, but Far From Home was good. I think there were some things that I did not like quite agree with because like I just felt they were not like realistic enough and like that's kind of person I am because obviously I'm a writer so like when I need to like write maybe scripts or whatever like I just make them like as relatable as possible. Like there are some things in that movie in that, should I call it a movie? Far From Home. There were some things that like, I couldn't like exactly relate to and I'm like, mm this will not happen in real life but i mean y'all y'all should do you <laughs> do you get but yeah it was a good one like overall the next one i'm going to rate is shanty town and i'm going to rate it four over ten because what the hell the funny thing right is i think i get like what they were trying to do like i get it honestly speaking like i get the idea i get like the whole vibe what they were trying to portray i get the I, honestly speaking if they had like put me like put me to be part of their um production team or script writing i mean i would have i think i would have helped them because i get what they were trying to achieve i get what they're trying to achieve you get but mm -mm, they failed it i think in fact i don't want to talk about this movie yet but i think i should just like mention it but i think what shantan was trying to achieve was what gangs of lagos achieved do you understand like they finished it they cleaned it like oh my god but this shanty town it was absolute crap to me i mean my own opinion because the funny thing is before i watched it again i was part of who that watched shanty town very 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 late because that's what i do so before i watched it i was seeing like so many reviews like people were talking about it who were saying how they can relate um rmd to who were they relating names it's not to or somebody like but when i watched it, i was like okay so what's happening please what, what were people saying again because i couldn't see nothing like I don't know maybe i'm the person that was like watching it like too deeply maybe you all saw what you all saw maybe like the storyline was good but now nah, to me it's 4 over 10 and just because i'm like i'm just being generous do you understand because you know they made sure that like it was star studded enough like there were like enough popular people in the movie so i'm just going to give them four just because of that the next movie i'm going to rate is battle on Booker street 
oh god i'm tempted to rate it three over ten but let's just go with five and that's because i am just being generous and funky akindele was you know the producer or whatever of that movie and i really really like the woman but seriously i just feel like the priorities were not straight for that movie because first of all like you guys are doing a whole you know buka kind of like local okay um restaurant vibe and all of that and the next thing y'all are changing the storyline to something entirely different it's like this switch for me like i never expected that because the title of your movie is battle on buka street right so maybe you guys would have stuck to the whole buka street story like if anything was supposed to sop let it sop in the buka street do you understand like how did you people just leave that whole storyline and then you could stay acting something entirely different like you guys brought somebody from prison or from somewhere and then boom 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 like different things like y'all left the battle on buka street the, the the title of your movie y'all left buka street like you guys they acting something entirely different like that was wild it was the transitioning for me and like ah oh, no 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 that's not how i write a story and that's not how they should have written it so the next movie i'm going to rate is the weight and i'm going to i'm sorry like i think this is my five over ten era so the next even the next movie i was going to be five over ten so just just stay with me stay with me the weight now i'm going to rate it five over ten just because i was really really angry like when i you know read about this movie before i got to watch it i was really excited because like i got even like watching the movie i understood what they were trying to like create i understood what they were trying to do do you understand like it was supposed to be like a godly movie vibe and all of that do you understand and like that was amazing but when i now watched it it was like mm, nah you guys didn't get it like i mean if you want to make a godly movie please do it right and like just <clears throat> make it make absolute sense do you understand like the way it, uh, people again the way it's the movie that people like absolutely loved well i was just like now nah, i expected more they would have been able to do more i don't know there was this other movie that they um released it was it knocking on heaven's was it knocking on heaven's door at the heaven's gate i don't know if it's that movie but there was another kind of nigerian movie that they were trying to like go for the whole like okay godly movie vibe and it made sense do you understand like i so saw i was very happy when i was going to watch this to wait i'm like okay yeah it's going to be like do you understand but like mm -mm, they did not really do justice and i'm sorry like they didn't some people for some people it was like really interesting but mm -mm, i think they would have done better than that whole story like mm -mm, the way it's now they did not try honestly i get what they were trying to do okay the whole waiting process but now nah, they would have done better than that trust me and then they made my um mini dima featuring that kind of movie was it in me god please i hope i'm not mixing anything up but yeah i was just like really pissed off the next movie i'm going to talk about is palava which is also five over ten i told you this is my five over ten era you know palava i'm not even going to like waste my breath on it it was super star studded and i think that's why they thought it was going to make sense with the storyline that they went with but nope not for me i did not feel the whole mm, uh should be palava was the one that rmd was a, it was it rmd mm, was a musician and he had so many daughters and stuff that storyline was just it was just weird it was quite mm, it was quite whack sorry <laughs> i said i'm going to waste my time with this one because uh -uh. the next one i'm going to rate is christmas in miami and i'm rating it for over 10 just because remember when ay used to release movies like 30 days in atlanta 10 days in sun city those movies they were awesome and amazing i think that's the whole vibe you was trying to go for with this whole um christmas in miami but mm -mm, he did not get it at all like at all i'm not i kid you not if you've seen it i don't know if you agree with me but like if you've not seen it you could check it out and you get what i'm saying like mm -mm. i think that's what he was trying to like that whole flow his normal flow you know the whole comedy stuff well, this one was just like really weird it was just i don't know it had like a boring flow to it i'm so sorry about the noise like people in my lodge are so <laughs> sorry so um I was talking about Christmas in Miami, right? But like, nah, it wasn't for me. So it's, it's the 4 over 10. Like, they did not try. A wife should go back to his youthful days when he used to produce very, very nice comedies. It's, this one was not nice. Then I'm going to talk about um, A Sunday Affair. And I'm rating it 6 over 10. Um, why am I rating this 6 over 10? Okay, obviously, because it was like a bit predictable at some point, And it was super unrealistic. I mean, you your friend is dying and you think like if i was god forbid but if i was the dying friend you think that is how i want to die like that's how i want my last days to be 
girl i'm going to call you out on your bullshit i'm going to finish you finish that man like everybody is going to like everybody's going to hear from me do you understand like i'm not going to do you know uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm about to die so yeah you should totally like you know you should totally be doing nonsense with my man and all of that stuff and i'm going now nah, i'm not going to overlook anything like i just feel like it was not like realistic enough it's not something that would actually happen truly that's the truth but it was an okay movie so i just gave it six over ten they the their heart was in the right place with the storyline so yeah the next movie i am going to rate is the trade the trade i don't know if this one really trended i don't know how i stumbled you know upon it i think i was trying to get some other movie and then i saw this um the trade you know and then i just decided to download it so i'm going to give the trade 8 over 10 like it was a really amazing movie based on true events and like oh my god to think that like these things actually happen do you understand in real life and then they were able to like act it so perfectly like it was about a man right that was um blossom Chukujiku. you know he 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 was living like a double life right so he's a very very popular evil <laughs> kidnapper in somewhere else entirely and then you know in that place right in this other place this other life that he has as a kidnapper you know he's the people there just they don't even know how wealthy he actually is you know even people that work for him work with him they don't even know how much he extorts from these people do you understand like that he kidnaps you get and then in his real life where he has his wife and his children like he's such a billionaire like he's so wealthy he was basically living a double life and like these things are like actual things that happen you know how like people how um these criminals these kidnappers and stuff like how they live their lives and it was a very good movie you know there were good stars that acted their parts very well i think my favorite part was um the part where Chimita, okay i think i'm already doing too much talking because i said i was not going to i'm not, i was not going to spoil it anyway okay i'm not going to spoil it i'm not going to spoil it i'm not going to spoil it but yeah the trade is a good movie eight over ten like it's it was a very good movie so you should watch it the next movie okay i think this is also my eight over ten era next movie is bad comments and bad comments I, I i'm rating it eight over ten this is also a very old movie I think what is the trade an old movie too? I don't know. But back comments, you know, it's a movie that came out some time back and I don't know if it trended at the time, but I only watched it recently. Back comments is also a very, very realistic, like based on true events kind of movie. You know, back comments was such a good movie because like it's something you can totally relate to and it made perfect sense. You know, it's um it, the storyline was about um this man, this guy, you know, that had his whole life, you know his whole life turned upside down because of you know something that happened online do you understand because of the bad comments he got due to something that happened like on social media do you understand the funny thing is there's someone closest to him that actually screwed him over like the story is, is really good but basically it's this whole thing that influencers or public figures or all these popular people online share this kind of thing is like what they could go through do you understand like due to one one bad like publication that might just go out do you understand maybe something that people can just tweak and turn it into something that wasn't like that do you understand like how people just take a part of something they don't get the full story or whatever they just video the part that is convenient for them and then you know cut it edit it into the what they want and then just send it out there to ruin your reputation ruin your career like it was such a really relatable movie honestly they really tried in that movie the storyline was perfect and i did not even expect the person that betrayed him to be the one to betray him so it was not predictable to me like that is what i would expect from a good movie so bad comments like now nah, that was a really really good movie eight over ten for me um so the next movie i'm going to talk about is ha, my fave ah is gangs of lagos and i'm going to give that one 10 over 10 i forget the crap i said about being the wicked teacher that doesn't give any student a uh, 10 over 10 man this movie deserves even 11 over 10 because what the hell was that accuracy about oh my god so accurate as i said earlier i was everything shantan was trying to be but could never be that gangs of Lagos was, was so epic the funny thing right the the, the thing that keep busting my brain is the fact that up to today i don't think so Abraham thought for any reason that she was ever going to like ever 
you know, going to be a clown this year, the way she was a clown during this elections like it was so funny because everything that she stood against in this movie is everything that she like she decided to do like it was so like nah it was the irony for me it was funny i feel like if she looks back and maybe watches that movie again she'll just see like how stupid like how stupid she looks right now like nah Thank of Us was really a good movie i just appreciate you know how i was talking about how i won't you know at I, I think a lot of people too had this whole mindset that now nah, we're not going to watch any movie Tony Abraham features in because like but trust me she was not even she wasn't that relevant in this movie I, I kid you not like she probably just acted like two scenes and like that was pretty much it and the two scenes are like two two seconds each so trust me she had no serious impact in this movie but it was a good movie and she looks totally stupid so you should totally check it out if you want to actually have a good laugh and have a good time um it was actually very sad also you know due to some things that happened in the movie you know with um our guy chike i know people that have watched this can relate but it was still a good one the storyline was good you know shout out to everybody who featured in that movie you all were amazing okay guys so the next movie i'm going to talk about in fact, I'm going to pair two movies together just because I don't want to waste time. Is Ainla and the Grey or something like that. Yeah, so I'm going to just give them both five over ten just because I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to give us like stories from the like from time past, you know. Okay, so I'm just going to say something very quickly. Number one, I don't like um I don't like movies that have old olden days vibe i don't know i don't even know if you get what i'm saying but i don't like those kind of movies do you understand just like in like normal american movie sense i don't like periodic movies in fact like i don't like movies that have that whole kind of sets and you get so for nigerian movies too, i don't like all these old movies that they're just trying to make everything so i mean i get that you want to base it on three events or like that happened actually you can actually use normal present day settings to do that i think you can do that you can pass the message i don't know i don't know but these two movies they were giving that whole vibe and i didn't really like it and it was just wasting my time I was like okay please can you hurry up i know that it's based on three events and this is probably how it happened but please hurry up dear like we don't have all day but i mean <laughs> five over ten just because yeah then the next movie i'm going to talk about is introducing the kujus or kujus and i'm going to just rate that six over ten um it was really star-studded too you know um but it was an okay movie mm, it was just there you know i'm going to go with the whole mm, was it really is does that happen was it really re re realistic sorry before i bite my tongue you know but they tried shall you get they tried the funny thing about this movie right is so it gets to a point where i'm laughing about something and then as i'm laughing i'm just like okay it's okay please oh yeah now the next thing like it was just like high and low for me jk bovaro it was an okay movie basically um the next movie i'm going to rate is i don't even know how to pronounce it s-o-o-l-e <laughs> so 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 sole 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 I don't know but i'm rating seven over ten it was a good movie um it was okay basically it was okay the storyline was okay too you know i didn't expect the person that was the kidnapper to be the person that was the kidnapper did you get so it was good it was a good movie um shout out to everybody that featured in that movie it was okay but i'm just going to give it seven over ten it wasn't it wasn't as good as the trade and the rest i gave it over ten then the next movie i'm going to talk about is breaded life um so i'm going to give breaded life 7 over 10 and i'm just going to like be honest about something here right so i don't exactly like movies that timini features in i'm not even going to lie timini is such a boring character to me oh please i know he's very fine and all of that good stuff yes we all know but in terms of movies like every movie i've ever seen this guy act especially when he's acting with this babe this fair chick what's her name what's her name what's her name um um <laughs> sophia lakija thank you when they act together just know that it's going to be a boring like it's going to be a boring ride and men like you could totally watch their movies like when you want to sleep that's when they feature together oh. and then to me as a person like in his movies like it's just always a sad experience for me it gets me tired i don't ever like his acting i don't even think 
I don't know. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. But for in this breaded life, I think he did well. He did good. The only reason that this breaded life really pissed me off is because it did not end well and they would have done better. But in terms of storyline, mm, I think it was okay and their heart was in the right place too. The next movie I am going to rate is Dwindle. And I'm going to rate it 5 over 10. Um because it was so rowdy like it was mm, everywhere everywhere everything everything was happening like there was a lot you get and i think like that was basically the idea right that was the idea of the movie but it was not my flow so i'm just going to rate it like that i mean it was probably interesting to you because obviously this guy was there what's his name um i don't know names are just skipping from my head but you get what i mean so it was probably like a good one for most people i'm so sorry about the noise so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but yeah, as I was saying, so Dwindle is going um for five over ten for me. And the next one uh, is dinner at my place. I'm also rating that one five over ten. So first of all, hmm. First of all, dinner at my place. Right. It was so unrealistic. And I just need to ask like the producers why? Like why? Okay, first of all, so I want to propose to my girlfriend, right? why would you think that when my ex-girlfriend knocks on the door i'm going to let her in like no matter the sub story she tells me i don't know Sha, but people can do it maybe guys i don't know is that how you is that how you guys are facing guys to be because it's just ridiculous to me it was unrealistic it's something that will probably not happen by god's grace i said you're like with a psychopath and like even me as the girl i'm not even going to allow something like that like i'm going to send like in fact i just feel like it was it wasn't realistic at the point but it was a good movie you get it was okay it was okay timini was also in that movie right he was the person doing the proposal so i'm not like <laughs> it's not because i don't like the guy but because like that movie too you get you just get as it be next movie i'm going to rate is a simple line i'm going to rate it um with six over ten because that movie was just too dramatic. Like with Kiki there, it was just a lot for me. It's a movie too that I was like, it's make me be laughing, laughing, laughing. Next time, I'm just like, okay, well, I don't laugh. Tired. Oh yeah, now what's the next thing? Do you guess? Like, like there, there were too many scenes that were too long. Do you get? Like, I'm just like, okay, can we make it shorter and faster? Like, can we move on? You know, okay, we've laughed about this. Over to the next thing, right? But it was just they were just stuck there. You know there weren't even too many people in this movie so it was just exhausting seeing them like everywhere every time like the same place oh my god i think that's why i got six over ten for me because if it was shorter and like they just added more effusive maybe it would have been like a really really good movie but it was just okay truly it was like i get the storyline where they were coming from it was supposed to be funny and everything but it was just taking too long and uh, i'm not that patient the next movie I'm going to rate it and that movie too that Timini featured it. <laughs> Timini not here from my hand though. Is this hey you? And I'm going to rate it 2 over 10 because they don't even deserve a number. What was that movie about? I'm not going to waste my time talking about this. If you want to see it and see how angry it made me, then you should totally go and see it. But like, I don't know what the plan was for that movie, but it was just too so boring and it was such an embarrassment. The next movie I'm going to talk about is The Wind Flower and I'm going to rate that one 6 over 10. Why? okay obviously because it did not end well do you get i get the message they were trying to pass in that movie which was like a really good one honestly like it was in fact i think that's the problem i'm having with like some of these nigerian movies like they're trying to pass a message and the next thing they're just doing nonsense it's just exhausting i'm like we get what you're trying to do can you just do it well do you understand it's not just about like having the idea please if you in fact i'm not going to talk too much about this the wind flower should have ended well that's all i'm saying like do you get the way it ended was not no even this these babes um this this um this people's father right that killed their mother why did he just run away and nobody heard about him and nobody's saying they even arrested him if okay if maybe at the end of the movie they not even wrote that okay he was arrested or he was found somewhere or he died like uh, would you understand like they just omitted so many things it was just error, error everywhere but i mean it was okay and i liked the message they were trying to pass but they would have done it better that's what i feel next movie is before valentine's and i'm going to read that one seven over ten um it was like a nice movie i had a good laugh you get yeah it was about like 
you know the whole fake life situation like how everybody was living a fake life it was very very funny i must really say then the next one i'm going to rate is jolly roger oh yeah, yeah, yeah i remember i'm going to rate that one six over ten now this is because again just like this other movie they were they like there was like a limited number of people in that movie and they just made everything too long so many things that would have just happened sharp, sharply 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 you know and they've just moved on to our lives they made us stay there you know to just be stuck in that scene and it was just tiring and exhausting but it was a good movie it's about you know how all these police people all these criminals in nigeria disguising as police people they are on the road and they harass people and everything it was about police people shall harass this man and his wife right so they harassed them and the woman was pregnant somehow 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 she died you know they beat herself that's the funny thing i don't know the kind of stupid unrealistic harassment that one like does that actually happen it's so it was crazy i was just pissed off every time they shot the woman shot died you know and then the man marked their faces and made sure that he exerted his revenge on them and stuff like that the thing that now bust my brain was where the person that his friend that was trying to like okay do the whole revenge situation with him i what was busting my brain there was the fact that like how money entered the situation they were trying to bribe down with money at the like i didn't even get i i get what they were trying to do there that okay but i think they would have just tweaked the storyline there like a little bit they would have used something like more gang gang and they would have not made us stay in one scene for so long looking at people that were tied up or like it was just tiring but it was a good storyline and i get what you're trying to do because more movies like this need to be created especially if police people are actually harassing people like this do you understand the last movie last one at least that i'm going to be rating is nigerian prince and i'm going to be rating it six over ten so the nigerian prince is a 2018 movie it's a really old movie but it was like a very good movie too right so it was about yao boy it's about a boy that his mom sent to nigeria because he was abroad and then because he was badly behaved or something so they sent him to nigeria to reshape in his behavior and then um i i don't even know how i can't remember really what happened but i shall know that his cousin was the yahoo boy and then he was trying to they kind of made a deal you know the cousin was supposed to help him you know to go back when he figured out that he was going to stay in nigeria for a while because i think his mom even lied to him to bring him back to nigeria so when he's when he realized that he was going to stay in nigeria for a while you know he told his cousin his cousin was now trying to like help him you know they they made a deal right that he was going to the cousin was going to help him travel back abroad you know to see his, to meet his mom and then he was going to help the cousin with one yahoo scam so it was just it was a very very funny story and it was a good one too but i don't know I, I, I can't even remember why i gave it six over ten right now but you should totally check it out it was an okay movie it wasn't anything crazy you understand so i think that's why i got a six over ten from me so guys we've come to the end of this video and i hope like you know you had a good time with the ratings with the reviews basically if you've seen any of these movies you'll be able to relate but if you're not it might like be weird to you maybe till you like see them if there's anyone you've seen and you totally agree with me or you disagree or whatever put it in the comment section let us talk do you understand but i hope you had a good time basically i hope i did not spoil any movie for you because that would be such a shame so guys in my next video thank you so much for watching see y'all bye